Speaker. We were all shocked when President Jacob Zuma appointed that minister to his cabinet. And we were shocked because we suspected that the minister would not serve the public interest, but that he would serve the private interests of one family, and that family is the Guptas. Well, we were right, because the minister has now allowed himself to become a hired gun for the Guptas, effectively recommending that the executive investigate the termination of certain financial services via a judicial commission of inquiry. And of course, later we were told that the minister had misfired, that his statement was in his personal capacity, and that the cabinet deeply regretted his statement. But the damage was done, and the minister has now achieved what no minister has ever achieved. He has united the ANC, the SACP, and Kasatu in condemning him. It is clear that the minister is an embarrassment. He's an embarrassment to the president. He's an embarrassment to cabinet. He's an embarrassment to parliament. And he's an embarrassment to the ruling party. And so I ask the minister, why did you issue the controversial statement? Why did you believe that the controversial statement was uh, reflected in the views of the cabinet? And whether the minister will not reconsider his statement and say right here, right now, that he will resign. Because in the end, the minister must go, and he must go now, because we do not want a hired gun for the Guptas in this parliament. The Honourable the Minister. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. As I've said earlier on, Honourable Manir has no right to ask me to resign. But let me place it, let me place it on record that the people who have been prejudiced by this matter, some of them are here in Western Cape. Two days ago, I received a letter that which was saying by somebody here in Eastern Cape, Western Cape, and Mr. Uh, Honorable Manir must be well aware of this matter. That in 2003, the person represented a widow's asset which were wrongly dealt with, and the matter is at the court, and the, the person has submitted proof to that to that effect and it's not only that person who also received the last two days a letter from a certain Miss Miss Jeanette who said these issues are there people of South Africa are crying over these issues if Mr. Man, uh, Honorable Manir think that this minister has an intention of an individual he must allow the due processes to unfold so that during those processes we can prove once and for all that the people of South Africa has issues with the issues of banks. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Speaker. Honorable Stenhausen, is that a point of order? It is a point of order, Madam Speaker, in terms What's of 141. Of you would yes. have allowed this urgent question because you would, as the uh, custodian of Parliament, have agreed it was urgent that South Africans get answers to it. The Honourable Manier put several questions to Minister Zwane. He has not answered one of them. He asked him why he issued the Cabinet Memorandum. He asked him a series of other questions. Instead of talking about cases currently before the Western Cape High Court, I would urge you, Madam Speaker, to compel the Minister to answer why he issued that memorandum on behalf of the Cabinet. Well, of course, Honourable uh, Stenhausen, I want to point out that Honourable Mainir must not ask many questions. All right, Honourable Mainir, uh, may I now call upon Honourable Stain from the DA to do a follow-up question. 
Madam Speaker, when I arrived here, the 